So let's have a little look around and see what changes we've made. This is ready to go now and I'm excited to share some new features of the Apprentice One to One Academy. You can see now we have a main MCCB panel board that's installed. It is waiting some um, suppliers work on the DNO side. So for the minute I've run a submain down to this so we can start using it. We've got a main isolation point up here, which again is just for safety reasons, you wouldn't usually have that on an install but we've got that there so we can lock that off and ensure there's no power down here for anybody else to come into contact with. We've brought a new 25 mil submain down to these bays, which feeds into this main switch here, 200 amps. Obviously the size of conductors don't really relate to these breaker sizes. And for the minute that's not important because this submain is just a C32 circuit from our main distribution board at the other side of the warehouse. We've got some final circuits running out of that and one of those feeds this board which is in our EV booth. So you can see here we've got the old style Proteus EV board and these used to work via the four pole RCDs that you had to wire separately or Proteus came up with this kit pre-wired. And then they invented this awesome four pole RCB that goes straight in the spine board and obsoleted all of that. So fantastic for us as installers. So we've got this C40 here in this board and again we've got an isolation point in the booth and that just turns the energy off into here now so it's a much better setup used to be the main board for the whole booth down here i never liked it but we was working with what we had on the limited funds we had and um, that then feeds into this um, zappy when it's wired in obviously it's disconnected and reconnected a lot so that's waiting to be connected again so on that basis do we have any selectivity with any of this so just to run through that again we've got a 200 amp main switch a 63 amp MCCB, which is currently set to one on its adjustment dial. And then that feeds into a C40 RCBO to our 22 kilowatt Zappi. And we'll assume that that has a 10 mil cable feeding it, just for argument's sake, which is what you'll typically find on most commercial EVSE charge point installs. So that's just a little question to throw out there. We are doing a bit of a launch. I'm going to have some learners come down to get some experience on this. We're going to do some testing first, I think. So we'll run through testing at the MCCB panel board. I do want to run some stuff around selectivity and get some apprentices and trainees in to come and have a think about that, take them through some design scenarios and really try and set out the difficulties and complexities of getting full selectivity in any circumstance. Um, but just to try and lay it out in front of people using electrical OM as well, I think that's going to be something super exciting. I'm looking forward to doing it, even if the people come in aren't. So we'll get into that another time. We have been kindly given these from Dan Bryant, who's been working with us in the day job through the course of the last week. And he's provided this Klein Tools um, self-adjusting wire stripper and an armor slice. So for anyone who is going to come along to do some of this at the Apprentice One to One Academy, as well as getting some training and experience on stuff you may not have had the chance to work with before, you can win some of these goodies. You can see we've got some Vita bags down here as well some other bits and pieces and there will be lots of opportunity to get stuck in with test gear so we've got qtech we've got um, tis which is in the bag we've got loads of boards for you to practice on i'll just run you around so we've got the single phase board here which you can dress away you can work testing on that's there we've got all the schneider gear over in here where you can set up some containment bubble sets run some bends we've got all the stuff here to set to doing all of that We've got tray work that's up here now as well. So there's bits of tray flying up and been taken down and the framework as well. There's all adjustable. We've got loads of other metal work. This is all Tamlex stuff. So they do their own Unistrut as well now. And for those of you who've been on the Tamlex tour with me, you will have seen the awesome work those guys do in constructing this stuff. We've got our booth here, which is just sort of in the construction phase still. And this is gonna set up how you can have um, sub mains at three phase and single phase. So to set out how you would do that. We've also been showing loads of different examples of how you will bush and couple boards together. I've triggered TikTok quite on purpose with different examples of this using um, nipples and lock rings rather than your male bushes and female um, bushes as well. And, you know, it's, it's one of those. There's loads of examples in this board as well. But, you know, when you want to try and upset a few people on the internet and get some comments and engagements, it's best to show stuff that you know is going to wind them up. Um, so there's loads of different things in there. I can just try and show you. I've got a, a little 40 mil push and coupler on there. You can see we've used some lock rings on this one and, and Matty's done an example of how you can do that with no sharp edges. So it's still achievable, but we'll get into all of that in some other content. And if you're lucky enough and you want to, to come down here and see us. 
We've also got this panel board area. This is the stuff that's been sent in by Eddie Clemens. I keep saying Eddie's going to come along. We've just been so busy in the day job. This has not happened as fast as I wanted. But we've got Eddie and Jamie, who are both experts in all this kind of stuff. So they're the people that you want to be learning it from, not me. So we'll see about setting up some stuff on an evening, most likely, with those guys where you can come down and have a bit of a go at understanding how all of this works. And I'll be taking part in those lessons as well. This is a, an old board. Again, if you've watched the prior content, you will have seen this already. But we've got all the diagrams, super lucky. And that was really kind of Eddie to hold on to that for us. And uh, we will be doing that. It has just been so busy with solar. We've got a little bit of older gear here as well. And this is just some examples of things you can come into contact with out on site. And we can run through, you know, how these things work and operate. There's more stuff as well we've got in the stores. All our containment stuff is up there, ready to go. So we've got plenty of it. This is now ready to go. We have got power down here. Like I said, it's currently off, so relax, it's been open. Um, I'm just going to put all the lids on now and tidy this up. But I thought I'd give you a quick run through and show you. Of course, we've got the solar stuff all up here with our inverter and battery storage and everything else. We've got the little area in here, which is currently a bit of a mess. I've got no power on currently, so I can't show you the lights. But again, we've got another um, single phase board, single phase dual stacker. That's actually... Um, live and wired and working when the power's on. This one is just for you to practice dressing away and wiring up consumer units. A um, little seating area, all the steel containment in here again, which you can mess about with. We're fully kitted out with tools and whatnot. So we've got plenty of stuff on there. We've got our tiles, safety equipment, batteries, solar stuff, all ready to go. We've got rail ready to chop up. We've got more panels, we've got a EV charger, give energy. And I'm going to put this TV up down there soon. This is an old one from home. So that's so we can uh, do some stuff in terms of watching content I made, building all that stuff. And we've just been sent another delivery from our good friends at Super Rod. So I'm going to open that in a bit and see what's in there. Um, yeah, there we go. Got a little scrap pile waiting to go. Um, but yeah, we're, we're all good. The next step with the solar stuff is the flat mount roof systems. Because obviously we've got our roof up here. But a common commercial setup is um, with your flat roofing mounting system so we're going to do something with that we've got some pavers we've got some other bits and pieces ready to go we're going to get something built and um we can cover that too so i just thought i'd give you a quick run around of what we've been up to and um yeah i think the date on this is going to be the first week of april i will be sharing more on the socials about all of that so if you are interested in coming along, I've done this before and we have like 50% of people drop out, which is really frustrating. I get it when it's free and you've got your day job to be concentrating on, get all keen and excited when you hear about it and want to come and join in. But when the day actually comes and you're busy, you know, these things, it's just the way of the world. I'm not going to say I wouldn't be like that myself. We're still not going to do this as a charge basis. It is totally free. I'm funding everything here myself. Um, we really we're going to try and entice you with giveaways because I want you guys and girls to come down and get some experience of this. I have put a lot of time and effort in myself and it's a shame for it to be underutilized. So if you are in industry already and you're doing your own things, but you want some space to bring some learners in and learn from you, this isn't mine. This is here for absolutely anyone. So if you want to get in touch, um, whoever you may be, and arrange for some people to come down here and meet you and learn from you, then let me know because we can make that happen as well. So I've got a bucket load of admin to get on with now. I've been finishing this off this morning, finally, um, to avoid doing G99s and solar paperwork. I'm gonna be honest, I've been trying to dodge that all morning, but I have to get that done before the week is up. So I'm gonna go and do that now. I'm gonna get this video out on the Apprentice One to One YouTube channel straight away, just as something to show you what we've been up to and to give you a bit of an insight of what we're gonna do in the next week or so. The podcasts are back. Um, I've got one coming with LK where we're going to talk about solar connectors. Jay the Spark, who I was talking to on Instagram the other week, he's going to come on as well and we're going to talk about solar. And the guys have been talking in the background about doing some stuff on earthing and bonding, which I think will be really interesting. So Craig, Jamie and possibly um, Dave, along with Richard, will be there as well to go through all of that because they're the people who are experts in this stuff. I just wing it. So that's, that's the truth of the matter. Hopefully we get some good content on there. This is all about trying to support industry as best we can and encourage people to develop and improve and where they may be missing out on some of the key aspects of training in their workplace and at college. You know, this is hopefully going to help build a small little void. It's a tiny drop in a massive ocean. I get it. Um, I'm not preaching as some sort of virtuous saviour of the electrical industry because that's just stupid. It's not going to happen. It's just something I wanted to do. 
is here, you want to use it, get in touch. Otherwise, I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you on a podcast soon. Bye for now.